I'll guide you through how to fix call failed on your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's jump into this. Make sure you watch this full video so you know all the different things you can try to go and fix this problem. The first thing I recommend doing is just making sure you do have a good connection uh, to your cellular network. So if you go to the top right, you're gonna see two sets of bars. There are gonna be bars which go across and there are four of them. And there's gonna be bars which go up and there are three of them. The three of them are Wi-Fi, and the four which go across are your cellular network. And for what you want to do is make sure you have got at least one bar there. If we go and open up our control center, go to the top left as well, you can see them. If you've got no uh, bars there, that means you've got no connection to your cellular network and that's why your call is failing. So what you should do is move location to try and increase the amount of service you've got. If you've got bad signal, one thing you could try is turning on Wi-Fi calling if that's a part of your sort of phone plan. To do that, open up your settings, go to mobile data and then Wi-Fi calling. And how this works is that it basically uses your Wi-Fi to go and make and receive calls. So if you've got a problem with bad service, go and turn that on. The other thing I recommend doing as well is try calling somebody else because you may be getting the call failed error just with that one specific person. So what you should do is try calling like your voicemail and just other people you know to go and see if your phone then connects because it could just be a problem with that one specific person. However, if you're sure that uh, the problem is happening with other people as well, let's go and continue. Another thing you can do to go and fix a problem of your calls failing is to go and enable airplane mode and then turn it off again. So go and open up your control center and then tap on the airplane icon in the top left. And what this does is it puts your phone into airplane mode, which basically stops it connecting to the cellular network and then wait just a few seconds. And then you can go and click it, turn it off. And as you can see, it's now searching and it basically sort of refre refreshes the whole connection. The next thing you can try is taking your SIM card out of your phone just for 10 seconds and putting it back in. So to do that, you'll need to go and take the case off your phone. So what you'll need to do is go and get the SIM tool or a pin and you'll need to go and put it in the little hole, push it in and the tray should then pop out and you can wait sort of five to 10 seconds before putting it back in to go and see if the problem has been resolved. And then what you can do is try making your call and then go and see if it works. But if it still fails, then what you could try doing is simply restarting your iPhone. So what you can do is just go and press the increase volume button, the decrease volume button, and then hold the power button. You'll then go and see a screen which says slide the power off. Just keep holding the power button. Your phone will then go black. And as soon as you go and see the Apple logo, let go of the power button. And then your phone is gonna have restarted. Try making a call and go and see if the problem has been resolved. Another thing you can try if it still hasn't been resolved is open up your settings. And from your settings, scroll down to general. And in general, scroll all the way down to transfer or reset iPhone, then tap on reset. And what you can try doing is resetting your network settings. I've heard this has fixed a problem for some people. So click there. This is going to forget all your Wi-Fi networks and just reset your whole net, all your network settings, basically. So we'll need to go and enter passwords again for Wi-Fi, but it's worth doing as I know it has fixed a problem for some people. And if none of these methods still have worked for you, then what I'd recommend doing is contacting Apple or the your network provider as well to go and see if they've got any solutions for you.